Let's look at some of the more difficult reconstitution questions. So for example one, you had a question to ask, the recommended dose for a pediatric antibiotic is 40 milligrams per meter squared. If the package insert instruction specifies that when 7 ml of diluent is added to the dry powder, you get a 10 ml suspension with a concentration of 200 milligrams per teaspoonful. Teaspoonful is important. How many milliliters of diluent should be added to the dry powder to obtain the recommended dose in 15 drops? So the recommended dose have, has to be given in 15 drops and you got a dropper that gives 20 drops per milliliter. And the patient has a body surface area of 0 0.5 meters squared. So I would start the question is step one, the proportion to get the amount of milliliters in the recommended dose of 15 drops. So the dropper has 20 drops per ml and you, the recommended dose is in 15 drops. So that would be when you do proportions, you get the answer of 0 0.75 milliliters. Next, you want to calculate the actual recommended dose, which is 40 milligrams per meter squared times 0 0.5 meter squared of body surface area of the patient, and that would give you 20 milligrams. Next, you want to find the total amount of drug that would be found in the suspension. So they give you a concentration of 250 milligrams per teaspoonful. That can also be written as 250 milligrams per 5 ml. You do proportions to find how many would be in the total volume of the suspension, which is 10 milliliters and you'd get 500 milligrams of total drug in that suspension. Next, you want to do proportions to find the volume needed to provide the same concentration as the recommended dose. So we calculated earlier it would be 20 milligrams per 0 0.75 milliliters. That would be the concentration, and we want to have that same concentration as the suspension. So we know that there has to be 18.75 milliliters that would contain 500 milligrams, we need that new concentration. So next you want to find the powder volume when, the, when following the uh, package insert instructions. So 10 milliliters of suspension minus 7 milliliters of diluent would give you 3 milliliters of powder volume. The powder volume shouldn't change. Find the volume of the diluent and you have 18.75 milliliters was a new total solution for the uh, suspension minus 3 ml of powder volume and that would equal 15.75 milliliters of diluent. Basically if you add 15.75 ml of diluent to that bottle you would get a concentration of 500 milligrams per 18.75 milliliters or back to the recommended dose of 20 milligrams per 0 0.75 milliliters. Let's look at example 2. The label instructions for, uh, specifies that when 75 milliliters of sterile water is added to a 7.5 gram vial, the resulting 80 ml solution has a cefiroxime concentration of 468.75 milligrams per teaspoonful. How much sterile water would be added to the dry powder so that 55 pound child would receive this, the recommended dose of 6 milligrams per kilogram in each 5 ml teaspoon? You want to convert, first you want to convert the pounds to kilograms, so 55 pounds times 1 kilogram divided by 2.2 pounds, that would give you 25 kilograms. Next you want to find the amount of the desired dose for the patient. So the, the recommended dose was 6 milligrams per kilogram times the patient weight of 25 kilograms, you get 150 milligrams. And they needed to give that in each teaspoonful, so you got 150 milligrams in each 5 milliliters. Next, you want to do proportions to find the amount of drug in the reconstitution. So they gave you the dose, the concentration of 468.75 milligrams per 5 ml. You want to find out the total amount of drug in 80 ml. So you do the proportions, you cross multiply, and you get 7,500 milligrams of total drug. Next, you want to do proportions for a new reconstituted volume using the desired concentration. The desired concentration in the previous step we found was 150 milligrams per 5 ml. So for 7,500 milligrams to contain that same concentration, you need to have 250 ml of total volume. Next, you want to find the powder volume of the original label instructions, which is 80 milliliter solution minus 77 ml of sterile water. That would give you 3 ml of powder volume. You want to calculate the amount of sterile water needed next. 
So the total amount we of uh, volume we found was 250 ml minus the 3 ml of powder volume, and you get 247 milliliters. Pretty much if you add 247 milliliters of sterile water to the original drug or powder of drug, you would get the, the recommended concentration. Thank you.